जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू हाउ आर ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी विल बी बिगनिंग द न्यू लेसन आई हैव गॉट सम स्टूडेंट्स असाइनमेंट्स आई हैव रिसीव देम एंड आई हैव चेक देम आल्सो बट सम ऑफ यू आर डिलेइंग प्लीज सबमिट इट ऑन टाइम ओके Uh, because I am grading you for it, uh, and I have made a playlist for you. If you have missed any of the online lessons, there also you can go and easily uh, watch the video lessons and explanation content. So uh, today we will we will be <coughs> going through the poem, "The Lake Isle of Innisfree," written by William Butler Yeats. <clears throat> first of all first of all about the poet who was w p yeats william butler yeats so he was an irish poet he was born on june 13th 1865 in ireland obviously he was one of the foremost figures of the 20th century literature so he was one of the renowned poets he was awarded with the prestigious nobel prize in literature in 1923 so just like our indian poet uh, rabindranath tagore had received the nobel prize even uh, wb yeats had also received the nobel prize in literature in the year 1923 he passed away in 1939 so uh, look at the image these images and uh, it will tell you Uh, the scenery of the place where the poet longs to go as you can see it's a beautiful place with birds some cricket some bees yeah uh, so let me read out the poem to you once I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree and a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made nine bean rows will I have there a hive for the honey bee and live alone in the bee loud glade and I shall have some peace there for peace comes dropping slow dropping from the wheels of the morning to where the cricket sings their midnights all a glimmer and noon to purple glow and evening full of linnets wings i will arise and go now for always night and day i hear the lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore while i stand on the roadway or on the pavements gray i hear it in the deep heart score so this is the poem as it goes i have recited it to you let's go through a synopsis of the poem so the poet w b yeats who himself is the speaker in the lake isle of innisfree gives us a peep into his mind and his soul what he wants what he is longing for his desire is to return to a peaceful quiet and natural place away from the hustle and bustle of life yes because city life is indeed a very fast paced life and we have lot of work and we have no time simply to stand and stare and we have a lot to care that is why people long for recreation and people want a vacation of sorts where they can just go and be with themselves and be relaxed and peaceful so that is what the poet is longing for he brings forth the positive values that govern his life in the poem he emerges as a peace loving fellow who is sick of the hectic restless noisy and material realistic life of the cities obviously so that is 
what is saying he wants to lead a simple life not a material materialistic life of the city because in cities you need actually a lot of things to survive and even if you don't use then uh, you might be judged why aren't you using some of the things which are normal like uh, in some of the european nations if you don't own a car it is very strange because there about almost everyone does so uh this man wb yeats he wants to be away from such a materialistic life he emerges as a profound lover of natural beauty and tranquility what he longs for is not a car is not a bentley or a porsche or a maruti or a suzuki what he wants is natural beauty he wants to hear the sound of the lapping of the lake on the shore he wants to hear the sound of the bees his strong nostalgia for the beautiful sights and sounds on the lake isle lake isle means an island within a lake and his desire to lead a simple life of unbroken solitude and peace on the island lake island reveal the simplicity of his heart and mind he is a simple man and he wants the simple life he wants to live in a place which is naturally scenic and beautiful are you also uh some of you might also have a philosophy or a thinking as, as the wb yeats and to some extent even i like uh, the natural beauty i prefer it more than the urban jungle the concrete buildings concrete jungle <laughs> so the lake isle of inisfree is nature versus civilization what we value in nature is often the exact opposite of what civilization brings also civilization sometimes destroys the peace that nature provides yes if you go to kolkata if you Uh, go to chennai or if you go to delhi you will not hear uh, peace and silence out there if you go to the roads there are always honking going on pap 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 yeah some some factory sounds some noise some construction sounds drilling machine or that cutting of the marble and it is very very irritating and really troublesome to live in such an en- noisy environment that is why students sometimes we uh, teachers also stress the importance of silence in the classrooms because uh, we need a proper tranquil environment to you know really observe and assimilate knowledge slowly you know, we need a kind of peaceful environment so that our learning faculties will le- work in optimum manner so i hope uh, you are also sitting in such an good and calm environment and taking in what this video lesson has to offer so it is also a musical poem it explores the poet's longing for peace and tranquility of inisfree which is the name of the place a place where he spent a lot of time as a boy and when he was a boy he had spent time out there Inisri is the name of a place it is a very quiet place and that is the reason the poet wants to go there he had spent his childhood in this place as a child he had spent his childhood in this place and that those memories have now formed a big part of him and he is very nostalgic about it as he wants to return to that place maybe if some of you um get jobs or businesses abroad in or in some other city so 10 years 20 years or maybe 15 years down the down the line when you think of siliguri also you might have such a kind of feeling a feeling of nostalgia because it is the place where you grew up as a child now the poet is endowed with profound imagination and sensitive observation observation how do the bees make sound 
what was the environment what sound did the cricket make so what was the scenery of the sky all these observations are made by the poet and they were made by the poet earlier and he's trying to recollect and this imagination creates a vision within him with very keen senses he sees observe and pr- presents the beauty of the island in the morning in the noon time how it was in the evening and even at midnight he can hear the sound of the bees the cricket the linnet and the waves he can visualize the tranquil glade the glimmering light of the midnight and the purple glow of afternoon you even you must have observed such things when you look at the sky in the evenings about when the sun has started to set you see a different color you see the sky lit up with different colors orange oranges reddish certain sometimes pinkish and sometimes with purple hues okay and it's really really very beautiful and authentic and you can also hear in contrast the loud and unpleasant sounds of the traffic in cities and contrast it with the captivating and soothing music of the waves yes have you ever put a conch over your ears and try to hear conch the ones in your temple which you blow yeah so if you do that you you can also it seems as if you are hearing the waves of the sea so uh, obviously which sound is better the humdrum of the traffic or the soothing uh, sounds created by nature the water bodies further the poet lacks a material attitude towards life he wants to avoid the hectic activities of the materialistic life of the cities and live in a small cabin of clay a hut a small cottage and wattles means we have seen sticks and things on the fences right uh, fences made of sticks not the concrete boundary so he wants to live in such a place a very simple life he wants to avoid the hectic activities of the materialistic life of the cities and live in a small cabin he wants to have only enough to fulfill his basic needs of life like now most of us are only trying to fulfill the basic needs of life uh, because of this pandemic going on and uh, yeah thus the poet comes forth as a person with profound imagination minute observation strong memories and a deep love for nature is inspired by the values of contentment and harmony and that is also the theme of the poem the lake isle of inisfree is a three stanza poem obviously there are three stanzas yeah and each quatrain is made up of three long lines and one short the rhyme scheme is a b a b i have already uh, i have already explained you why a b a b first first line ends with in is free in is free second line made water made third line honey bee so again in is free and honey bee it's rhyming so a b again a b made fourth line is glade if you check the line uh, if you have the book you can uh, check it out along with the book if you don't have i have already sent you the pdf okay uh, yeah now imagery there is a fair amount of imagery in this poem we can behold that small cabin those nine rows of beans that buzzing hive of bees the slowly dawning sky and the peaceful cricket song the shimmery glimmer midnight the purple sky in the noon and finally the beating have you heard the beating of a bird's wings S- similar 
repetition there is slight repetition in the poem repetition first line of the first stanza and the first line of the third stanza start the same way with the sentence i will rise and go alliteration alliteration i have already said you it's a figure of speech so where there is the repetition of the same consonant sounds which you can see in line 2 of stanza 3 lake water lapping with low sounds l l l that is why the sound of l is repeating in the same line which is creating and which is, which is making use of alliteration then there is also use of metaphor there are a couple of metaphors in the poem by now you also know what is a metaphor if you don't know i am telling you it is a comparison okay comparison without looking without using like or as between two different entities the first one occurs in line 2 of stanza 2 wheels of morning might prefer to the fog or do one often experiences in green places and the last line of the poem is a metaphor too it means to say that the speaker of the poem deeply desire it so with this we end our synopsis and my explanation content for the lake isle of innisfree written by william bitler yeats if you have understood the lesson and if you have attended the lesson please like the video and if you have any doubts please comment out there i will happily explain you and clear your doubts you need to write a 200 word summary of this poem like i do in most like i advise in most of the chapters that i have taught and you need to solve the exercises textual exercises that are there for all the chapters that i have taught till now okay i hope you are updating them after completing take a snapshot and send me in my whatsapp number and i will uh, check over it and grade you for it also watch the next lesson where i will discuss a few question answers with you for a better understanding thank you for now jai hind students please update your work and do study make a proper routine and stick to it thank you jai hind